Hi friends, how you doing today? We're going to talk about something that boggles my mind. Um, and that is... Well, it's pretty interesting. Um, so... How do doles procreate? Yeah. Great question, right? How does a dole... Pro no, I'm just kidding. That's not what we're talking about. Although, I would assume they're hermaphroditic just because, you know, that would really be the thing to do um, if you were H.P. Lovecraft or whoever invented the dole. Um, but no, we're not talking about the dole. I mean, we can talk about the dole, but, you know, we got other things to talk about. So, here it is. I'm going to show you guys something, and then you get to tell me, explain to me what's going on. Alright, so, I bought some coins. Yeah. Bought a lot of coins. Um... It turned out being like seven lots. Um, now, the first lot I paid too much for. But the other lots, I got some of them below melt. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the, quite possibly, the life hack of all life hacks for stacking silver. If you like uh, constitutional coinage. Yeah. Um, I mean, doles are cool, but that's a lot cooler. Um, let me get this out here. Ah, here you go. So, this is a peace dollar, right? Nothing special about this peace dollar, guys. It's a 1922. And it's from Philadelphia. And it is not in especially amazing shape. I bought a lot of seven coins, and this was the best coin of the bunch. And it came to like 16 or 17 bucks a coin. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. The rest are all Morgans, and they're all different dates, but this one's dinged up, and looks like somebody horribly molested it. I would consider this a coal. And these are definitely coals. See that? Defaced. This one's nearly rubbed raw. And defaced as well. This one is a slick. Or something really close to it. From New Orleans. It's not even good. This one's been... Like someone was inking it or something. Yeah. I mean, they're all real. Look at that ding there. But they're filler. They're filler, guys. These are filler coins. Look at this one. What in the world happened there? Did somebody scrape that to test and see if it was real? You know, what what the heck happened there? Like somebody dug into that Morgan and just yeah, dinged it all up. Uh, anyway, the coins are legit. They make that fun silvery sound. But they are not amazing coins. No, 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 no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love constitutional coinage and prefer it to bullion, actually. I don't own a lot of uh, .99 stuff. 
most of my stuff, most of my silver is in the form of uh, coins. You know, 99 or 90 percent, a lot of it. A lot of Canadian stuff. I got a lot of 80 percent silver. But anyway, so yeah, I paid. I think I paid way too much for these, but times are tough, right? Finding silver is hard. Let me get to my point. So then, same guy had a bunch of other lots. Three coins per lot. I was getting these at 11 bucks a coin or so. Maybe 11.50. Let me show you these. They're really nice. These are the same amount of silver. As these. There is no difference. They are 90%. They are the same exact amount, same weight. Actually, these weigh more because they're not worn. They're not circulated. Now, why did these coins cost so much less? Well, as it turns out, these coins actually cost more when they first came out than they do now. True story. All of these coins have mintages that are low compared to any of these. Virtually any of these, except for the very rare, you know, oddball ones. Mintages are way lower on these. Um, 400,000, 300,000, 200,000. Some as low as 14,000 coins. Commemorative dollars, guys. So, let me show you what I got. I couldn't believe it myself. I was like, whoa. This is crazy. So I got... I think I got $27 all together. And when I added up the price I paid per dollar, it came to $14.67. Now that includes these that I overpaid for. So $14.67 or so per coin. Which, you know, considering what silver's running these days, like physical silver, not not that uh, paper stuff. The real deal in your hand silver. People are paying $20 an ounce, guys, on the regular. Uh, some folks are paying way more than that. Okay? And we're talking about constitutional coinage here. So I invite you to go to appmax.com or any of the other JM Bullion, any of the big dealers, and tell me how much... 90% silver dollars are running, okay? And then, once you've checked, forget the dollars, look at the junk. Look at the halves, look at the uh, dimes and quarters, okay? And then, when you're done with that, check the price of these commemorative dollars. Now, you tell me which one costs more. Okay, so we're going to go through each of the coins real quick. I'm just going to show them to you. We're not going to get too involved. These are Olympic coins, right? This one is, and believe it or not, a little tip for you. If you do actually want to start a collection of these, the non-proof ones are rarer than the proof ones. Because when you ordered these back in the day, back in 1983 or whenever this was minted. Uh, focus. Anyway, the person buying the coin would buy it and they would choose whether they wanted the business strike. That's this. Or the proof. Okay. Now. Actually, I have two of the same coin. One proof, one business strike. Well, when people were buying these, they were $23 for the business strike. So here's the business strike. And then $25 for the proof. So for $2 more, you got the proof. 
See the difference, guys? This coin is way rarer than this coin. They also made, in this particular set, one for each different mint, but you can only buy it in complete sets. So I don't have those coins, but I might just go out of my way to get them now. Anyway, so there's there's a, yeah, apples to oranges, or apples to apples comparison. Proof, business strike. These are rarer. I can't think of any exceptions. Everybody got the proofs. Now, the mintages on these were still small. The proofs were still small, but the mintages on these business strikes was way smaller. And uh, I can't think of any exceptions, but you can check and let me know in the comments if you can. All right. So, you've got, I mean, these are nice coins. Look at that Statue of Liberty. Okay. That's the freaking Statue of Liberty. Okay. These are $1 silver dollars. Just like, here you go. Here's, here's another one. Statue of Liberty. I don't mind duplicates. Huh? Don't mind it one bit. We've got another Statue of Liberty. Wow, three Statues of Liberty. Look, there's the Constitution. Gotta love the Constitution. Don't love what they're doing to it. Oh, look here. Business strike. Proof strike. See the difference? This one has actually some pretty cool toning on it. The proof one. See that? Yeah, it's toning through the capsule. Anyway. Um, another constitution. Another Statue of Liberty. Um, another Olympic coin. Oh, that one is uh, definitely proof. Another one, proof. This is the Congress silver dollar. This one's cool. This is like something out of a Dungeons and Dragons game or something. It's a really neat design, I think. I Actually, it's one of my favorite designs of the bunch, to be honest with you. It's really cool. Look at that, though. The Constitution is nice. We the people, guys. That's us. We're the people. Another Statue of Liberty. Another Constitution. Oh, that one looks like it's not proof. Let's see. Nah, nah, that's proof. Hard to tell from the front. Oh, here. This one's from a different Olympics. This is uh, 1988. There you go. So... There's that. So that's it, guys. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed. The Doles enjoyed. Um, I wonder if maybe when Doles procreate, they have to be enticed by the smell of silver dollars. Ooh, let's see what happens here in their natural environment. Anyway, I hope you guys find all of the stuff of your dreams, miniatures or coins. And I do hope that this video was informative. If it was, let me know in the comments um, if it's helpful. Um, but yeah, look for those commemorative dollars, guys, because you are going to get a lot more silver for your buck. Thank you. Have a great day.